Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I am going to show you how the system reads configuration files from different configuration folders and how you can set up your supervisor configuration file config.sup I will start from the explanation that if you will create your Creo startup icon the system can automatically place them on the desktop in the installation and you know that if you will select right mouse button properties you can set your custom start in what does it mean if in this folder the system will found a config profile the system will automatically load this file but this is the second file what the system read the first file what the system read is directly from the installation folder so my installation is right now on the C program files PTC Creo 7 and in the subfolder common files is the subfolder text so you can select the text quickly and over here I would like to show you over here is the first config profile so one more time if you will run Creo for example from the desktop the system will jump into Creo 7 common file text and read the config profile and then directly read the second config profile. We can try. I will run Creo. After opening the Creo, you can directly check the preferences if you will select the settings and option. And over here on the left bottom corner is configuration editor. You can see right now that system read the second file directly c user cad creo 7 config.pro and if i will open you can see that system read again the first directly installed file from the common file text config pro like was explained a minute ago the question is how you can manage these files what does it mean for example simply to and easy to explain for example over here i have a template design assembly and default configuration from the installation of Creo 7 and this is the first file and I have a same configuration option template design assembly in my config profile so template design assembly yeah you can see here that I have a different one so I have set up my custom configuration file what the system will read as the design template if you would like to know more regarding the additional or use it configuration file please check the previous tutorial and you will see how to set up format template sketcher and so on and so on but please continue we have a config profile in the creo 7 common file text installation file this is the this file is read as the first one if anything is placed here and you are using the same configuration option in your startup directory yeah for example here I will open you can see here that I'm using template design assembly here the system will read directly my second option from my custom config profile we need to make some small modification and for example you would like to lock couple of configuration options what does it mean you would like to create special configuration file where you as the administrator for example in the company you will set up configuration option and the system will read only this one always only the first one and nobody as the user can change it so what is necessary to do you can simply create a copy of configuration file yeah I will create a copy copy here and I will change it as config.sup file like a supervisor yeah dot sup yeah config.sup if I will confirm the system will change the file extension it's okay and right now I will make some small modification so what does it mean I will open the config subfile 
and in the configuration supervisor file has to be removed all map keys it's not possible to use the map keys and for example you can select only the necessary configuration options what is necessary to use for every user for example template search pad library for example model check but if the sketcher blender or sketcher refit will be set up or another file options you can remove yeah if the system will open window maximums or no it's up to user you as the administrator you can leave it as user need so i will leave in my supervisor config file only the necessary information regarding the for example templates formats drawing configuration and so on and so on this configuration config sub file i will save and directly i will move it directly in the ptc creo 7 common file text folder right now we have two configuration files in the installation default folder it's a config sub file and config.pro file i will change again a little bit this config profile so again from my custom profile because right now i am as administrator for example i will make some modification so for example i will delete everything was it here because we remember that we would like to because this one is modified by administrator yeah this one is modified by administrator we will delete okay so i will delete and this one will be okay and map key are possible to use in config.profile so right now what you can see here are the option what will be possible to change by user in future i will save this file and i will replace the existing one and our custom profile will be only for example sketcher will be modified like this it will be my custom one and i will delete everything from here yeah so simply to say we can change it here it's a user file for creo parametric it's only for the visualization okay and i will change it to no for example okay so i will close right now the creo and summary explanation right now we have three different configuration files two of them are placed directly in the creo 7 common file text it's a supervisor config file in this file are option what is not possible change by users without map keys for example template search path model check and so on another one is the config profile over here you as the administrator you can place additional configuration files and map keys these options are possible change in future by users and how if the user will start from the creo icon or creo startup the system will read supervisor file config profile and at the end the config profile from the user folder if over here is some configuration option which are same as in the config profile the system will set up this one if it is not existing in config profile or supervisor will be included if the option is same as the supervisor this option will be not applied simply to check start creo 
in the CREO, open configuration option, and you can see that system reads three config profile. Config sup as the supervisor, everything is locked, it's not possible to change in future by user. Config pro from the CREO 7 installation directory, so couple of map keys, what is in the future possible change by user, and at the end from the working directory. Yeah, and you can see that system run directly this option. In today's tutorial, I'll try to explain to you how to use three different configuration files and how to set up supervisor config file. Stay tuned, like the tutorial, and have a nice time. Bye, Demir.